Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an internal network between virtual machines. So an internal network allows for VMs connected on the same internal network to communicate with each other. It's a special type of software based network, which is only visible to VMs on the same internal network. So applications running on your host machine and the outside world, it's not visible to those. So let's start off by opening up a terminal and we're going to create a DHCP server first. So if we just type in VBox manage and we want to create a new DHCP server and we're going to type add because that's the operation we're performing. We're adding a new DHCP server. So we need to call our internal network something. So to do that, we're just going to use double dash net name and let's call it test lab. Now we need to give this DHCP server an IP address. So double dash IP and we're going to give it the address 10.10.10.1. .10 the next step is to give it a subnet mask. So net mask, double dash net mask, and that's going to be 255.255.255.0. We now need to define a pool of IP addresses that the DHCP server can allocate to connecting VMs. So to do that, we set a lower IP address. So double dash lower IP. And that's going to be for our network 10.10.10.2. And we set an upper IP address. So everything in between these two IP addresses is going to be an address that the DHCP server can allocate to a VM. So let's set that as 10.10.10.12. And the final step is to enable our DHCP server. So double dash enable. And that's it for the DHCP server. So the next step is to open up VirtualBox and configure our VM network interfaces. So I've got a VM selected here and I'm just going to click on network and we're going to work with adapter one. So if I just click on this drop down here next to attached to and select internal network, you'll notice that the name internet has popped up in this drop down here. Now that is the default internal network for VirtualBox, but we've just set one up of our own so we can type that in and it was test lab and we're just going to click on advanced and I'm just going to randomly generate a new MAC address and click OK. Now the reason why I randomly generated a new MAC address is because I cloned this virtual machine from this one here. So when you clone it, it will also clone the MAC address so we'll have the same MAC address. So the DHCP server will see that as one machine and allocate it the same IP address. And when it does that we won't actually have a connection between the two machines. So let's just configure the second virtual machine that we're going to connect to our test lab internal network. And we're just going to do the same thing as before. So test lab and click on advanced and I'm just going to change the MAC address here. Don't really need to, I'm just going to do it for the fun of it and click OK. So now if we just launch up our virtual machines, I'm going to pause the video here while that loads up and come back when it's done. OK, so the virtual machines are up and running. So what I'm going to do is just open up a terminal in each of them and I'm going to type in ifconfig and if we just check this IP address here we've got an IP address of 10.10.10.3 which is within the pool of IP addresses that our DHCP server was going to allocate so that's correct and let's just run that here so ifconfig and there we go 10.10.10.2 so we can safely assume that these two virtual machines are now connected on our internal network. So if I just 
ping from one to the other. So let's just ping 10.10.10.2. There we go. It's connected. And if we just ping this one back, which was ping 10.10.10.3, we're getting a response. Okay, so that's brought us to the end of this tutorial on creating an internal network inside of VirtualBox. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.